No, that gives it. We got two baseball games in Monday Night Football. Josh against Aaron Rodgers. I can't stand him. Why? I just, he's a hypocrite, and he's, he's he got my guy fired and then didn't he own it. He said he resents If you're going to be a coach killer, people. own it. Don't, he, don't do what you do and then say, I'm Mary Poppins or Mother Teresa. I had nothing to do with it. He Please. resents yes, people sir. like you saying he got Sala fired. Yeah, okay. He absolutely And I got some land in the yoon for you, Stani. I'll show you after the show, buddy. Yeah, huh? Sala absolutely got a raw deal. <laughs> but my man! Can I read a text that I think is a great text, and I'm not saying I agree with it, but I think I might. Steiny, this game carries no weight. Look at McVay. <laughs> I'm out, but go outside. Look at McVay and the Rams. The Niners owned them in the regular season until the NFC Championship game when the Rams uh, won. Well, unlike the NBA and I'll uh, take a postseason Super Bowl win over a regular in Major season League Baseball, Steiny. There's yeah. only one game a week. There's nothing more important than a than a victory in a regular season. So just for forget who they're playing. The Niners are three and three. That's yeah. not good enough. But they'll take good it. Good enough for first. But yes, you want four and three. Sure. And the fact that it could be against your your rival, you know, a team that's prevented you from Wait wasting a minute. up the Lombardi. Wait a minute. Hold on. You said earlier in the nah, show a rivalry <laughs> doesn't start until but one you team know what can I mean. beat the you other. You know what I mean. Um, 888-957-9570 is the number. It's Chiefs week, ladies and gentlemen. And how big a game is this for the Niners? Do they need it psychologically? 888-957-9570. Matt Barrows of The Athletic. He covers the San Francisco 49ers. He's going to join us at noon. I got a question, Stan. And I I got a question for the fans because the phones have not – we've taken calls, but not on this subject matter. When it's Dallas or a vaunted rival – we get people calling calling in and saying they hate Kansas City. You threw that out early, and not one person or Niner fan has called and said, I hate the Chiefs. You know why? Because you're scared of the Chiefs. So you can't hate somebody you're afraid of. I don't yeah. know if that's true. Oh, yeah. I think so. You hate a bully. Well, like the forty, the yeah, you Warrior, hate a bully and they they kick your ass. I feel like Warrior fans hated the Rockets, and one of the reasons why is because they knew the Rockets nah. would never beat them. But the Chiefs they had him three two. Chris Paul blew his hammy. It's always about the past with you. Did you see what he's doing with Wemby? <laughs> it's incredible. Hey, real quick, well, yeah, yeah. you oh, have to watch the starting five on no, Netflix. No. It's so well done, Stiney. It's incredible what? footage. Okay. LeBron and Edwards, Jason Tatum, okay. your favorite Sabonis, married to Laker cheerleader, and uh, who am I missing? Uh, Jimmy Butler, and it shows them with their kids on the court, off the court. It's incredible. What this is anybody that doesn't like sports, I'll right. hug you. Meet me on Kearney at two fifteen. Well, this is what it's about: the footage of these guys and gals, the behind the scenes. Yeah, that it's doesn't, incredible. It doesn't win you any games behind the scenes. But as a fan, it's a great watch. Well, if you if, if I, people could follow you on your daily life. Your walk would. to Bart, the old ship, seeing how you interact, golfing. Think about well, that. About There's people seconds. out there that would watch it. Well, for you and I, but, dude, it's incredible. All great family guys. <laughs> now, why would you laugh at that, man? Because they're being portrayed that way. We don't know if they are or they aren't. Leroy in Oakland. Lee! Set him straight. Please. Uh... Hey. hey, what's up, guys? Talk Good us. morning. Yes, Good sir. morning. Wow, so you know, 49er fan for life, and you know, we sit to those KC games. And um, you know, I, I don't, because it's so early in the season, right? Ah, um, I don't is think it? it's like, you know, midway, but I, I just don't think it's like if it was later in the season and the way we've been playing, like if I was the Niners or I'm a Niner fan and I've been more concerned with – you know, the Arizona game and the Ram game mm. when we had those leads and stuff. And so, I'm, I mean, I'm not real concerned about this. We know what Kansas City is. And um, I'll just say briefly, Kansas City, <laughs> boy, so <laughs> individually, individually, we got to play better. Each player has to take it personally. And um, 
when we get momentum, we have to keep it because we're not good playing trying to snatch momentum from people. You know what I mean? So I think we got to keep the momentum in this game, and, you know, I think we'll be fine. Hey, Lee, but, let me leave yeah. you with this. I got a quick question because I love you. What do the Chiefs represent to you? When you hear the Chiefs, what goes through your mind as a Niner fan? A team who knows how to win close games. Hmm? Like, they'll always let you in the game. You'll always be in the game against the Chiefs. And they seem to just snatch it at the end. Wow. You know, Niners got to learn how to finish. If you look at a lot of games the Chiefs played, you know, this season, I'm telling my son, God, how they keep squeaking by. Yeah. You know, and, and so, I, you know, they let you in games. You're in games. But they just know how to finish. And wow. And 49ers got to finish. Thanks, Leroy. Appreciate the call. Stunning Stunning with a great question. No, seriously. That's a great like, question. They, what do the Chiefs mean to you? Wow, man. They're they're this is interesting. Four and five. We hated James Harden and therefore we hated the Rockets. But there's no villains on the Chiefs. Wow, man. Uh somebody else on the four oh eight uh Comcast business okay. text line is just I, I don't know what they're talking about, right. but they're just saying family man and they're saying Anthony Edwards something. Oh, I, I don't I don't know what Yeah. But Maybe let's just say Ant Man didn't go to USC. <laughs> the Trojans. He's not into the Trojans. Yeah, he's got a few kids. I just saw nothing wrong with it, but yeah, he's not a Trojan, Donnie. How about that? <laughs> Ant Man. Oh boy. Yeah. Eight 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 nine five seven nine five seven zero. Yeah. What do the Chiefs mean to you? They're the standard, right? They're the standard. But he described them. Unlike a machine, because you're in the game, and they just come and snatch it. We've all just processed they're not playing the best football, nope. but yet they're undefeated. Or, I would take that all day, every day. What, te- being undefeated? No, Me too. I, I could have three Super Bowls, and people could say, you know what? They just have an uncanny ability to pull it out at the end. Like, they're not beating you 20 to... It's, ex- it's everything it Kyle's thing's not. In his tenure in San Francisco, it's woulda, coulda, but the Chiefs just kind of hit Leroy's right, Stanley. They hang around. I can make an argument. They should have lost. They didn't, and they got three Super Bowls, man. It's S- yeah. Sazzle. Oh. Sazzle in Fremont. Sazzle. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing uh, that right. Hi, Stanley Guru. It's Fazil. Remember me? Oh, yeah. Oh, Fazil. How you doing? Rhymes with I'm Brazil. Hi, I'm doing good. How are you guys? All right. Doing well. Yeah, you know, it's Kansas City weekend, you know, like the two Super Bowls that got away from us. I think this will be a huge mental boost if they get this win. I know like you're saying like the other caller was saying or the other text was saying that, you know, how the Rams were against the the Niners in the right. regular season and then they got the big one in the championship game, right? But I feel like as a morale boost, a mental boost, this will be huge. And then also come, Dallas coming in the following week, the bye week, and then you get McCaffrey back, then you can the Niners just roll in the second half how they did in 2021 and in 22. But I think this will be a huge win, especially at home, getting that win and then just boosting their morale going into the rest of the season. Because getting back players healthy, I think it'll just be huge. That Thursday win was a massive win. A division win. They needed it and they got it. And I think like when their backs are against the wall, they have they they get the job done usually. Yeah. So I think like this will be a huge win if they win on Sunday and then it'd be like, Hey, we can get these guys. These guys got us twice. But I feel like if we see them again, I feel like this will be a more confident more confidence for the Niners if they see him again in February maybe. We'll see. Well, I appreciate the call. Sazil. Yeah, Zach Taylor, we'll see. Yes. Yeah. Um <laughs> the Hey, by the way, you know who we're going to see Sunday? Well, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Swift. And you're excited I, like she's part I, of the game. I like her. I get I that. I like the artist. I like her, too. Okay. Well, then drop it. She doesn't play. No. So you're into all the... So neither is Jerry Jones, but they show him 17 times well, a game. Well, he owns the team, so he's got to be at the no. game. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he brought up a great point, and Who? I know it's early. Uh, Jerry Jones? Cecile. Oh. Um, I'll tell you who the Niners do own, right? And it's the Dallas Cowboys, who just were embarrassed yesterday. But, Stanley, oh, somehow there was a letdown, and I got to be careful here because I don't want to get too far down the road, but you don't get this win against the Chiefs, which I know it means a whole lot to the Niners and the coaching staff in that building. 
I think that would help Dallas on a Sunday night showdown even try to beat their daddy who have been the Niners because maybe the Niners are down. They lost another one to Kansas City. I know that's for another day, but man, this win does mean a lot, man. It's just more than a regular season. You need to send them a message or need to send yourself a message. We can beat Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Easy 650. What we got? If the 49ers win, they've got a two week bye. That, I like that. That's I know the Niner would. math. See, no, that's a, pretty good. The one thing that I I think I differ from other fans is okay, like the Cardinals. They got drilled yesterday. And their season their the highlight of their season was beating the Niners. Right. So I could make that that win over the Niners was flukish. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right, go ahead with your I What are you doing with your hands over there? No, I was just yeah, Tom Jackson. Remember him? You were Aaron Rodgers? To Sala? Oh boy. Is no. that what you're doing? I saw that the other day. I didn't like it. But go ahead. I interrupted you. No, and that makes that means I forgot what I was gonna say. Because I'm, I lost I'm, my dis- I'm unlike oh. other fans. Like I think the nature of football is just because you get hammered one week doesn't mean you're gonna be hammered the next week. No, h- hello. That's that's what I mean. I mean, like, to me, maybe one of the reasons the Cardinals got hammered is because they're not a great team. And they got their ass kicked before we, the week before. And they I think every team's capable of playing a real good game, and that's what the Cardinals did against the Niners. And that I agree. The Niners with. helped them with uh, some late mistakes. 